friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a hard contract with thick arca senilis let us observe this surgery after making the incisions an air bubble is injected to fill off the anterior chamber underneath this air bubble tripanglu dye is applied to stain the anterior capsule for better visibility and now this is a bit of adrenaline to maintain the dilatation of the pupil now the dye is washed out using a uh, 23g simco cannula and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill off the anterior chamber the spmc is applied over the corneal epithelium and now capsular excess as i try to to excess the whole lens moves so very gently very slowly i do the excess and my aim is to do a large excess because this is a hard cataract and with weak genuine we must do a excess of about 6 mm to manage the nucleus safely if we do a smaller nucleus genular stress will be more at various stress stages of surgery now i'm trying to do hydrodissection and hydrodissection is being done injecting small amounts of bcs at multiple points at various points almost all around and i didn't try to rotate the nucleus in this case because genule is weak my plan is to divide the nucleus into two halves and then i'll try to rotate the nucleus if it doesn't rotate then i will do hydro again at this moment my plan is to do my plan is to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei and my technique is what i call submarine chop the fecundity goes in with its bevel down some superficial lens matter which include cortex as well as some amount of epinucleus is removed now the hand piece is turned to make the bevel up and now the chopper is used to push the nucleus little down and the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and it travels through the nucleus towards the opposite equator i have started from 11 o'clock and it is going towards 5 o'clock and as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to get a nice crack at this time i did some more sculpts and got a very nice crack and i find that the nucleus is rotating nicely and now i rotate the nucleus 180 degree and try to separate the two heminuclei and there is complete separation of the two heminuclei and this heminuclei is larger in size i'm trying to divide this nucleus into two fragments I have got a nice crack but the two fragments are not free they are joined to each other by a thick stubborn band I try to get another chop here another free fragment but I didn't get this fragments are also joined to each other by the central thick stubborn band And now my plan is to go to the other heminuclei and C 
see if I can divide this that nucleus into two free fragments. I'm rotating the nuclear mass by by manually by these two hooks uh, because genular stress becomes very minimal if we rotate the nuclear mass by by manual technique and now I go again at this time I go with bevel up and go into the substance of the semi nucleus and chop it and this time I got two frag free fragments and now I emulsify the free fragment on the right side I start emulsifying the fragment from the apex now I go to the other fragment start emulsifying from the apex the advantage is if we start emulsifying from the apex the other side the smooth surface rests on the capsule and it doesn't cause any harm to the capsular bag and now I came out injected visco and I'm trying to rotate this large semi nucleus and place it in front of the phaco needle that is going to be introduced but before that I want to do some manual work I inject visco push the posterior capsule far behind and now I use my blunt small chopper go behind this nuclear mass and here I tear off the band and one fragment is pushed down the other one remains as it is now my plan is to emulsify the piece on the right side which is resting at 7 o'clock and this time it is going to be easy start emulsifying see no nuclear fragment is running here and there all fragments are just around the phaco needle and they are getting emulsified if you follow this technique if the in hard nuclear pieces are not uh, running here and there if they are not hitting the corneal endothelium the protection of corneal endothelium is much more and see here see the emulsification of the last piece I have kept the boat shipped epinucleus behind to protect the posterior capsule and I have emulsified the nuclear pieces and now I go to FACO 3 mode till now I was in FACO 2 mode where the vacuum was 400 and here I am using only 250 vacuum and aspiration flow rate at this time is 25 previously it was 40 and the nucleus and epinucleus has been nicely managed safely managed I have taken enough time no hurry at all and this should be the approach in such hard nucleus we cannot hurry up we have to have patience so that we can do justice to the patient who has put all his faith on us yes nucleus epinucleus and cortex has been nicely removed 
and now I'm going to implant an intraocular lens and this is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens loaded on this butterfly shaped cartridge the optic as well as the haptics must go in the groove and it should not come off and it should not be pinched by the flaps and now as the nuclear as the IOL intraocular lens is pushed forward it should go smoothly there should not be any resistance if there is some resistance it means the haptic one haptic has been caught in the between the two flaps now I have enlarged the main wound little bit say by 0.2 millimeter so the 2.8 millimeter wound has become about 3 millimeter and now this is hydro implantation of the intraocular lens and the intraocular lens has gone into the capsular bag if we implant an intraocular lens keeping the antechamber formed by irrigation if we don't use any viscoelastic substance then we achieve two things one is we avoid the risk of high intra ocular pressure postoperatively which can be caused by retained visco another thing is we save lot of time because if we use visco we have to clean it thoroughly and the case is done the side ports have been closed the main wound has been constructed in such a way that it will not require any hydration integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence